off Yates, commercial waterman, making my living fishing and crabbing on Chesapeake Bay. people in the United States that don't know about Chesapeake Bay. Very few people. The sad part about it is, I, like I was saying, telling somebody yesterday, I don't see the bay getting any better right now. I really don't. They got to make some drastic changes. You know, people don't get paid to do a job to place it on, on somebody else. I think that once it gets started, I think that everything's in place, Mother Nature will kick in and the bay will, the bay will take care of itself very, very quickly. And I believe this. They talk about the shortage of crabs in the bay. The first people they want to blame it on is the watermen. And it's it's not that way. The reason we have the shortage was not caused by the watermen. I mean, at a particular point, yes, it's true, the watermen may not be helping it. I mean, you know, we're taking crabs out of the bay. Obviously, if we did, then there'd be more. But, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's the other factors, the pollution, honestly, that's gone ahead and caused the problem what we have. It's not the watermen. don't do a job they don't get paid for it or they get or they get fired they get replaced and I'm not bitter about it it's just it's just common sense people can look around the bay is not really getting any better I mean I'm out here every day I see it you know you have infections guys get infections they tell people not to swim in the water I mean if it was a clean state you wouldn't hear that Every, almost every facet of it's gotten worse. That's what I think. Almost every area of the bay has gotten worse. Uh, we've picked up diseases. The fish have gotten sick. The oysters were sick before that time. Uh, and you know, a lot of this is just, uh, I believe, it's just Mother Nature combating, doing the best she can. People know, they've done enough research on it. You know, they understand what's going on. But there has to be some decisions made that are gonna hurt a lot of people. And I'm not talking necessarily about the watermen. The watermen's been hurt bad enough from the practices that have gone on already. But I would absolutely love to see the bay get better. You know, I live here and I work here. I'd love to see it, but like I said, it's going to take some decisions, I guess a lot of political decisions, and people don't want to make them. They really don't. But in the meantime, we'll keep working. Just keep doing the best you can. The, the reason the bay is the way it is now, you know, as far as I'm concerned, is it's people. I mean. Uh, there just needs to be changes made, and it's not only in the state of Maryland, it's in other states they have to make it. Uh, you know, maybe impose tighter restrictions, uh, you know, chemicals, uh, the way you have stormwater management. Uh, all those things are going to make a difference in the Bay. I mean, look at the amount of people that the Bay supports now as what it did 30, 40 years ago 
And you got to remember, every stream up north of us, even Pennsylvania, probably parts of Ohio, whatever they do all ends up down here in the bay. All the bay is is the dumping ground. And consequently, you know, all these products, and uh, they, they talk about the chicken plants and the, nit and the, the uh, nitrogen in the water. I mean, all it's done is kill all the underwater grasses or kill, the, kill all the ones that I've seen. Every now and then you'll get a patch of it, but nothing like what it was years ago. Like, like I said, there's only one bay. So why not go ahead and take care of it? It's just a shame that it got in this state in the very beginning. It's just a shame it was let to happen. You know, maybe a little bit of greed with, with builders and, and, you know, chemicals. And, you know, I mean, people abused it and thought it would never come to an end. Well, it did. It did. They, they know what it is. You know, the people in charge, they know what the problems are. It's political they can't move. I have no idea. But I'd like to see something different. I truly would. It's just a shame the way it is. Well, when I first got into it, there was more crabs <clears throat> involved, for one. And uh, <sighs> I don't know, it was a little different. I've just seen it decline. I've seen it decline in the period that I've been here. Uh, it might have kind of leveled off where it is right now, but I don't feel it's getting any better at all. I don't. I hate to sit here and just paint a grim picture to you, but I'm just, I'm just telling you what I see. I'm not a scientist. It's just I'm out here working, and, and uh, I'd like to see some of the people in the decision-making process. I'd like to see them come out here and work for a year and see what they think, and, uh, and take a look at the at, at the animals and the wildlife make decisions. Um, when we had more underwater grasses, we have we would have ducks raft over there in the river by the tens of thousands, especially when they were staging up to leave in February and March. And now, now we have a trickle. And there's no doubt in my mind it's a direct relation to food. And the underwater grasses have died out because of the pollution. So, you know, you just, every, every single aspect of the bay has to do with the filth. You start cleaning the filth up in the bay, you start restoring it, and it'll be back in no time. And it will. It will. Somebody can quote me on that one. 